car, bro. No content being made today. I think it's time for a beer review. It's kind of cumbersome being the coolest nigga that's ever done it. As I look out, I see a very bright future. Not just for me, not just for the community, but for you. I see a bright future for you. Yo, it's kind of, it's kind of dry out here. Look at that can over there. It's like clearly a, is that a bass? No, it's not a bass. That's a salmon. Probably a verlasso. Stuck in the damn can. Fuck that Todd Bleach pen, I am a beach bum Add it to my story and it's been a long time Who are you? It's beer drink, no fake lighting The wind has gone down, no alternative audio This is straight out of the camera Y'all don't give a fuck about that <laughs> But anyhow, New Realm Brewing Company 9% alcohol by volume El Juicy, El Juicy Cabra Monsters and Myths Double India Pale Ale Series 4 of 4 So this is the 4th degree Cicerone, much like me Double India Pale Ale from New Real Brewing Ah! Um, go outside, do some content, eh? Yeah. I'm actually getting ready for a little get a. Uh, you know what? Let's get a bit. Let's get a beer photo of this. Hold, hold this for real quick. Spin around, uh, spin the glass around so you don't see the uh, the uh, uh, whatever the name of that brewery is, Dry County. And we're just gonna shoot you straight to it. This is the beer, Juicy Cabra. The pint stops here, folks. From New Realm Brewing. As you can see, it is beer, liquefied and all that. But uh <laughs> Satch a page, Satch a page. Well, I was spot focusing on. Fucking spot focus. That was probably all horrible. But anyway, we're gonna get straight to the super citrus. We're fruity smelling. Not sure what it's brewed with. Don't care either. But we're gonna get straight to it. 9% alcohol by volume. That's the kicker in this. Does it do the job? Whatever type of hops this is, has a bit of sweetness. <laughs> it's like a sweet hop. Maybe it's a, um, this is a good taste in beer. A little backstory, a bunch of sediment in the beer too. Look, not sure if you can see that. A gang of sediment in that whore. A bunch of little, it's like a little, it's like a, it's like a, a ball sack with all them jizzes floating around, trying to break out into the next America's top model to make a baby. This is good. Real shit. They're very particleized, very small, thin, pin pin needle drop, um, um, fish foods in there. You wouldn't think that it's 9% because it's not boozy at all. <coughs> Whoa! Kinda cold out here. A nigga needs lotion. Uh. As far as the facility, New Rim is probably one of my favorite breweries to go to. It's over there uh, near the Atlanta Belt Line. Not near the Atlanta Belt Line. It's literally on the Atlanta. Damn. Why'd I take that off? It's cold. It's literally on the Atlanta belt. Easily my number one favorite as far as like just how it's set up. On a scale of zero to five, I'm giving this bitch a 4.25. It's not A5. It's not the perfect beer because you got to understand when you're fourth degree, fourth degree, ah! when you're fourth degree Cicerone as well as the leader, the president and founder of the Atlanta uh, craft beer community. I hold a very high standard to my give it a five and me being the official <laughs> review of craft beer on anything, whether craft beer Instagram, YouTube, on all your little fuck fuck Facebook group. I am the bar. I am the official in these ratings. So maybe to someone else, it would be a five beer. But for me, it's a 4.25. A lot of uh, decadence, a lot of uh, allegory and a lot of main Jason May Jason Statham's to make the, uh, a great beer, and this is a good beer. Once I saw a chupacabra back in them woods, and that's no cap. Hope y'all enjoyed this premium craft beer review by yours truly. It's me. It's beer drink. Don't smoke cigarettes. However, if you do want to smoke them, just do it. Just don't smoke a lot of it. It is what it is. I hope you all enjoyed this thing. It's beer drink. Who are you? Bye.